everyone here because it is a huge occasion. The Champions League final. Who's going to be crowned Club Kings of Europe? It's Manchester United and they take on Barcelona. It's coming up live next on EA TV. This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Stuart Robson. It's Manchester United facing Barcelona. Well, Derek, you just wonder what those players are thinking right now. Some will be nervous, some will be excited, and some may be anxious. But once that whistle blows, we're going to be in for an absolute classic here. Manchester United. Andre Onana is the goalkeeper. Lisandro Martinez plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Barcelona shape looks like this. Mark andre Ter Stegen in goal. Cristiano Ronaldo starts with Lionel Messi in the wide midfield positions and lining up through the middle in attack today, Erling Haaland. And they get the ball rolling in the Champions League final we're about to find out who will be crowned club kings of Europe excellent assessment of the situation at the back United finding space on the wing and it's whipped in early he could profit you know and effectively carried away by the keeper Mbappe Brilliant pass Not unable to hold as run and that's offside going to be United's free kick released it nicely well thumps clear and Bruno Fernandes so very talented and capable of running the show you would imagine Stuart he'll figure prominently well, he pulls the strings with his team. He just seems to have more time on the ball than anybody else. He can pass it, he can play little one-twos, and he opens up the opposition time and time again. Jude Bellingham. Well, the 
goalkeeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Mbappe. Now Haaland. Jude Bellingham. Messi. Well, it clearly was deflected, so it will be their throw in. Messi is with Vinicius Junior. And then Messi has turned in field. He's blocked it. with Vinicius Junior. Vinicius! Good hand on that one. And held by the keeper at the second time of asking. Well, he's just pulled off a great first save there. Now they can all calm down. Well, that's not great, is it? There's been a real lack of quality in the game. The passing's been too safe, and there hasn't been enough movement from the front players. The recipe for a poor spectacle. Bruno Fernandes has it. Marcus Rashford. Shaw. Now he must favour the cross. Can he find the angle? Shaw. Now with Fernandes. And so it is, the first half story has been written. So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Shaw. Now with Fernandes. Really good piece of goalkeeping there. Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo. And Bellingham. Rashford. Getting forward. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Here's a change for Manchester United. Messi. Vinicius Junior. Here's Mbappe. Erling Haaland. Haaland. Now with Bellingham. Getting it through. And running through to the keeper. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. How about the cross? And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Well, it's 
great awareness of space in the box and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish that's a clever goal the dying embers will it prove decisive here Rasmus Heilun the clock is against Manchester United here but their dreams remain alive Bruno Fernandes oh I can't believe it twists and turns in the closing stages and it's anyone's guess who's going to lift the trophy incredible well here we can see just how good the cross from Rashford was and Fernandes does the rest he hits through the back of the ball with such power. What a great finish that is. So back underway. They've levelled it at 1-1 here. Cristiano Ronaldo intercepting it intelligently still level here but Manchester United making a push near the end he read the situation defensively and did his job the referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order now options are plenty Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over, and two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. And it's the first period of extra time and I must say this has been a back and forth type of game advantage Manchester United Bruno Fernandes has it Jadon Sancho take it away Lionel Messi, Bellingham, here's Mbappe, threaded through by Mbappe, fractionally wide, so unfortunate. time is over 15 minutes left maybe after that penalties we'll see well extra time continues we're into the second period now Bruno Fernandes has it. Strong but fair tackle. Lewandowski. Bellingham. And teammate 
looks around him. And effectively carried away by the keeper. The Barcelona corner. Will they be able to cash in on it? Well, he's certainly like that, but he's now got to refocus here. Who's going to get on the end of it? And the goalkeeper who knew exactly how important that save was. Well, he's just saved his team from defeat there. That's a great stop. Can someone get on the end of this? They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. to take it short here it might be on for them determined defending and we are going to have two additional minutes and making headway can they forge ahead might still be able to do a bit of damage after the foul a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick Champions League final, a shootout to determine the winners. And now it is all about the penalty shootout. He's gambled on direction and won. Low and accurate that penalty. And he steps up to take the shot. That wasn't easy to do. Superb execution. He scored in the bottom corner. Can he remain calm? And he's taken the low road. Beautifully done. Critical as always. In front of goal. And it wasn't the greatest penalty. And it's been saved by the keeper. A goal here to finish it. And there it is. That brings it to a conclusion. And a contrast in emotions. One team joyful. The other absolutely devastated. Well, what drama, what scenes, and what a good finish to this game. It really has been exhilarating. Well, in football, you don't forget these moments in a hurry. Due reward for their persistence and their overall excellence. Well, it really has been engrossing today. Such a tight game that you have to feel sorry for the losers. They were so close, but yet so far away. And the party mood has enveloped the stadium. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. they don't need to be reminded about what comes next it's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy well there's some tired players out there but what you can be sure of they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy they'll be going mad in the next few moments it's Barcelona's Champions League 
Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. And that's exactly what they're doing. Trotting over towards their supporters to say thank you. A collective effort always on these occasions. Well, what more can you say? They are the best team in Europe. achievement for this club and these are photos that are going to be cherished for a long time to come